Randy and Sean, talk about single person actions, please. Okay, there's all kinds of things that people can do if you just sit around and use your imagination. Things need to be done. Uh, we need to get the word out to people. We need to know that somebody out there gives a damn. Um, whether it just be one person holding a sign in a busy intersection or something, just doing something. Yeah, I think people really miss how valuable it is just to have a face uh, mm -hmm. on an issue. Uh, when we can put an action uh, out on the street and show people that there's at least one person out there who cares, it makes a difference. It does. Mm -hmm. It impacts people. Um, I think when you do individual actions, it's important to have a good theoretical foundation for why you're doing what you're doing. Know what you're doing and why. For instance, if you're going to be talking about uh, uh, banks or having a sign out in front of a bank, you have to be ready for it. You have to be ready for why do you think you should not be dealing with that bank? Why should people be using a credit union or a bartering system instead? So you need to have some background on the issue that you're dealing with. I think that really helps. Okay. But, um, examples. Uh, well, one of the things I did last year is I, I decided I was mad because of the of the uh, fracking spill in Vianna and all the animals that were killed in that creek and uh, all the neighbors that were without water for over a week and I knew that we needed to put pressure locally on our um, elected uh, representatives, whether it be the mayor or our congressman or whatever. And what I did is each day I just got up and decided, well, this is where I'm going to take my sign today and I'm going to stand in front of their office. And that's what I did. And the next day I picked somewhere else and went and stood there for a couple hours each time. You know, and I got a lot of good uh, feedback from doing that and very few negative comments. Yeah, I think Sean's idea of an individual action being out on the street and doing something is a very good way to do it. It's probably the best. Uh, but in addition to that, one of the things that I've done is I've created brochures that I hand out to people and I do that um, in a number of different ways. I'll take a brochure uh, like Move Your Money to get people away from the banks, the action that I mentioned a little earlier. Um, and it will tell people that the best way to do business with, with money is to not use money to do um, bartering. If you must do bartering, um, if you can't do bartering then you do uh, relationships with other people and that's an individual thing. You yourself can decide how to do business. Um, I also think that um, it's important to have a theoretical foundation um, so I, I go on the internet and I listen to people about their attitudes towards individual actions. The best one that I found is um, Chris Hedges. He talks about doing individual actions and one of the things he says is that um, you, when you do an individual action don't give a darn clean it up for you. What people think about what you're saying. Don't mm -hmm. look for anybody's approval. And remember, when you're stirring the pot, sometimes there's a lot of people who will not be happy with the nature of the soup. So get out there and stir the pot anyway. Speak mm -hmm. out for what's right. Speak out for what's just. Speak from your heart. Um, I found when I speak from my heart, it impacts people even when they don't agree with me. Now, going back to the issue of flyers for a moment, um, I like the idea of signs. Sean, did your, Sean, did your sign um, change each time you went somewhere, or did you use no, the same sign? I pretty much use the same sign. I uh, did a PDF of uh, the actual pictures that um, that Diana Ludwig did of the uh, disaster in Vienna, mm -hmm. and blew them up and put them on uh, solid uh, foam-backed uh, poster boards. And then down below, of course, I said, this is what happened basically and you're our elected official you're supposed to protect us what are you going to do about it you know okay okay and then with flyers we could um well you're, you're distributing the move your money flyers yeah that's just an example of one of the flyers mm -hmm. that i've distributed before. how do you distribute them do you actually stand out on the street and hand them out to people no i haven't done that i've gone i've, I've gone done that. i've gone into the banks and dropped them okay uh, in, in, in uh, places where other people can get them and um i've uh, taken them to meetings that i've gone to and pass them out leave them in places wherever uh, i think somebody might pick them up 
Um, post office is a good place to, to leave a move your money and a um, Bernie Sanders recommendation that the post offices become banks again. Uh, I leave that information there. Okay, so our friend that walks down the street taping up flyers on windows, so people looking out the windows will see them, you would consider that an individual action too? Yes, I would. Okay. Anything that an individual does on their own without anybody else, uh, that's basically it. Get out there and do something. Use think, your imagination. Absolutely. Use your imagination. And, you know, people are under the assumption that one person can't make any change, but I don't agree with that. I think one person can. Um, I think if you get out there and put your heart in it, that, uh, that people recognize that your heart is in it, that you can make an impact on somebody, and it's worth doing. Now, what kind of actions locally right now would you suggest that people develop these, um, these sorts of individual actions to address? Well, I can tell you the ones that I do. I do an individual Bernie Sanders action. Okay. I'll sometimes just get out and hold up a sign. Okay. On a corner. You know, um, much like Sean does. Much like Sean does. I'll, I'll go put a um, bad fracking sign somewhere that looks like a good spot for it to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, him and I have both done that. Yeah. Hung signs. And mm -hmm. Right now I'm thinking about what I'd like to have suggested some things to do with the park. In different areas you know because of all the fascism that's going on you know how they're mm -hmm. ignoring the voters and more or less laughing at us because they've got us over a barrel with this last uh, um, election you yeah. know and the money they got a 15-year uh, um, money coming in from the voters what do you call it uh, levy. black <laughs> levy the yeah. levy is last gonna last 15 years so they don't have to worry about us they don't mm -hmm. care what we think they good they got our money coming in and that would be a fantastic way too to subvert the system when they've kind of locked the voice of the people out right of traditional uh, venues mm -hmm. and that's what they've done and that's what they keep trying to do and I voted against the levy for the park for that simple reason mm -hmm. that levy was for too long a period of time now where would you suggest that people do actions? I'm thinking of, I've done flyer distributions in like grocery store parking lots. Well, I would, I would stand with my sign right at the entrance to Fellows Riverside Garden right on Mahoning Avenue. Okay. I would okay. do uh, something, you know, where Ward Bakery, that entrance to the park. Mm -hmm. There's different entrances to the park. I'd stand on uh, Canfield Road by the uh, old mill with a sign. Mm -hmm. You know, anywhere I, where it can be seen. I, I think Sean's point about where it can be seen is a good one. You go where the people are. Yes. yes. Okay. Or you, or the other other perspective is go where the issue is. Mm -hmm. Okay. For instance, if you want to talk about fracking, go to a frack well, mm -hmm. uh, especially if it's on a um, near a busy highway. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to talk about banks, you go you, know, you go to where the banks are. Mm -hmm. You downtown, go to the banks. Downtown, on a day when people are there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you absolutely have to yeah. have to be there and be seen by people. Yeah, yeah, Saturday action downtown is pretty useless. Yeah, unless there's an event going on. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And uh, yeah, and that's the, my main goal is to yeah. get as many people to see it as possible. Yeah, another type of individual action with brochures is to go to, if you're going to uh, go after a store, take your brochures into the store, mm -hmm. put them. Uh, behind the shelf so when people go to purchase something they see your brochure mm -hmm. now I've never done that but I've heard other people have Ooh, I would never do that no. <laughs> I would never stick the brochures in the buggies no know, they're I sitting haven't. for people to take them but it's yeah. a good idea in theory yeah. Yeah. yes in theory I, mean, I, I suppose that would work I actually think I know some people that have done something like that another thing that I do is you've seen my t-shirts that I've made iron-ons for mm-hmm and you know, I get a lot of good comments from them. You know, yes. like what's in your water? And people are saying, yeah, they come up to me and say, yeah, what's in our water? I've been hearing all kinds of things about our water. Oh yeah, because you know? they make people ask questions. And for me, those those are iron on. Mm -hmm. And I can change them, you know, and you know, make something up and iron something else over that one, you know? Yeah. I can yeah. change it in a couple hours, you know, or less. Oh, exactly. And we found um, 
Well, every year we find that that's the case with the March Against Monsanto. Mm -hmm. People will come up and see our t-shirts. Right. Okay, gentlemen, we are at our 10 minutes. Thank you both very much. Okay. You're welcome. Bye, everybody. Bye. Come again. <laughs>